Hi guys and welcome to part 2 of this week's TTS where we will continue the adventures with the Egg Paladin and uh, yeah, the first uh, the first few games that we played with this deck were kind of good actually, I really enjoyed them they, um, they kind of went to show that this deck is not competitive so to speak but it is, it is a lot of fun and uh, maybe we'll even uh, consider uh, putting in some really fun cards, like something really absurd. We'll see though, we'll see. So far I want to keep the deck as is, to kind of uh, see what we can do. Since we only have one true silver, I kind of feel like, you know what, I'll keep true silver against the mage, because last time we got absolutely obliterated by, uh, by a tempo mage. Despite the fact that my dragon eggs and my the Ruby next synergizes well with it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, yeah, I feel like this is good for us. Dragon Egg. I wish I wish Dragon Egg had mo Dragon Egg had more synergy with the uh, with um, like actual dragon cards. But uh, so far we don't see that. I'm gonna keep the coin for now. Because I don't really want to use it. Because if he plays Flame Waker, I want to use the coin next turn with True Silver. So using a coin with Seal of Champions kind of uh, is uh, gonna shoot myself in the foot. Uh, I'm gonna shoot myself in the foot. And I also like the fact that we have a Quality Consecrate uh, clear of the board. So that's uh, that's something that we have going for us, or in my favor, I should say. If he just pings the two-two. And passes. What do I do then? Seal of Champions the egg? Most likely. Most likely. It's uh, just. It's beneficial. Is he gonna take a poke at the 2 2? No? Okay. I wish he had. Follow the rules. Alright, well, we so far have established uh, some kind of board presence. On turn 4, mages usually play uh, something like a Shredder, or something like a Flame Waker combo, but uh, I do have a True Silver, which uh, I <clears throat> willingly kept in my opening hand, uh, just just for this, just for this situation. Frostbolt, alright, I'm actually pretty happy about that. Can missiles please hit face? Bad, bad. Oh, All right, can I top deck a shredder? That would be lovely. <clears throat> that would be great. We top deck Nerubian egg, which I will play, which I will play this turn, because I do want to hear power. If I deny him a five drop by uh, forcing him to ping. That's uh, gonna be something that uh, we will benefit from. Shield minibot. Hmm. I still kind of want to sit on my cards at the moment. Believe it or not, I don't really want to go ahead and just uh, use consecration or use true silver and that on those one drops, because my hero power will deal well with them. <coughs> Uh, obviously, it would really suck if he just keeps pinging them, but uh, you know, he's forced to use a ping here in order to kill my uh, tutu. But consecration will be really handy. Really, oh, ho, ho, ho. my friend, I do not think that you should have done that. Like. Against three minions, I will use Consecration, especially when my board remains intact, especially when he's only sitting on two cards at the moment, especially when I have a way to deal with Dr. Boom, and I have a way to deal with if he does not have any cards, so that's good. Alright, he's Portal, what are you gonna give uh, him this time? Confessional Petrus? Peltris? Or... Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what is good. I wish you get this Dormo. I wish I wish you can get this dorm, because <laughs> this dorm will be so fun. 
I really like love Nasdormu. And if you guys don't love Nasdormu, then you probably have no soul, because <laughs> that card is great. What is a special delivery? I must safeguard the ah. That's fine. That is okay. I think. <laughs> it could have been way better though. I think coin is okay being used here. Because the silence is gone. And uh, we have three minions on the board, which will constantly deal damage to him unless he draws into Flame Strike, which uh, you know it's likely, it's likely. But uh, since like he has two cards out of twenty, that's one out of ten, meaning um, uh, ten percent. Ten percent is good enough. Like if you were told at some point mm. that you have ten percent chance of winning, um, I don't know, a million dollars, you will take that chance any freaking day of the week and don't even lie that you wouldn't <laughs> you would <laughs> uh, I will go ahead and play in defender Vargas um overextend or not overextend I don't think we overextend pardon me <coughs> oh god damn it sorry I had to sneeze there <laughs> um that probably is something that um you know, you guys will be like, oh, Russian, why do you sneeze? I thought, I thought YouTubers don't sneeze, ever. Um, although it is true to some degree, um, not true at the moment. Uh, again, I don't, don't really want to do anything, like, stop deck flame strike, that's fine. I, I would rather not just give him minions. Um, yeah. I have a question for you guys. What would you rather choose? Would you rather choose? Uh, you have two options, right? Somebody comes up to you. Let's say, let's say that person is very trustworthy, and he says to you, "You have a choice between getting one million dollars. You will like, I'll give it to you right away if you pick this option, or you have a 50-50 shot at a hundred million. How about that? What would you guys? What would you guys select in that case? Because I certainly have no idea. <laughs> because on one hand, right? On one hand, you kind of want to, you kind of want to pick the hundred million option, because it's obviously a hundred times more money than the first option. But then you're like thinking to yourself, why would I pick that if I have like a uh, hundred percent of getting a million? And you can you can do a lot of things with a hundred with a million, sorry. But then you can also do so much more with a hundred million. You can do a hundred times more things than you could if you pick the hundred percent option. So I don't know. I think it's a tough choice. Personally, if I'm if I'm ever presented with this uh, option, I will go with the fifty-fifty on the hundred million, simply because. I am gonna be. I'm not gonna be upset if I don't get the hundred million. Of course, like I will be a little bit distressed because it's a fucking hundred million that I'm passing up, or well, that I'm not getting due to bad RNG. But um, if I don't get the hundred million, let's say, let's say that, let's say that stars don't align for me and I don't get the hundred million. What happens then? What happens is I just continue living my life as I was previously and since I'm not unhappy how that was turning out, I would be okay. You know what I mean? So that's just that's just kind of my thinking there. Um, tell you what, I will go ahead and play uh, the Shredder. Because if he plays something like a Drake, right? Then uh, I'll just keep her the Drake. I was thinking of keepering the egg, but I have an activator for the egg. Uh, I would rather keep keeper, keep keeper, <clears throat> against a bigger, m bigger threat. And if he plays Mount, uh, Mount Gen, Mountain Gen, then he's definitely screwed. So many possibilities. I mean, he can always silence the effect of Keeper of Oldman, but I have so many things that you can actually silence. That that's uh, that's good. Oh my God, Defender Vargas! I'm playing that all the way. 
now hopefully at some point during uh, during the next like four turns I draw into consecration because uh, eventually I want to combo that with equality. Alright, so how much damage do we have? We have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 9, 10. 10 damage. I have to use this here. And I will go ahead and play that as well. To clear that. Yeah, sure. I want to clear the board. I want his board to be empty because uh, we don't really have a comeback mechanic. We don't, because if he uses Shadow Flame, then that's uh, that's just gonna come back and bite me in the ass. It's gonna sink its teeth in deep uh, inside my flesh and bones and stick there. And uh, I'm sorry if you guys are eating while watching this video. <laughs> I really am, because I know that uh, you probably don't want to hear about that ever. <clears throat> Do I want to burn equality right here, right now? Not really. I will play the egg though. And I would rather wait. Like, of course, if he has something like a Molten Giant, that's uh, sad. <clears throat> but if he doesn't, then we just win the game, right? I can't be playing around Molten Giants all the time. <clears throat> Especially when we're trying to be the aggressor. He either has it or he doesn't. And uh, if we top deck. Well, uh, consecration, then that's really great. Do you think would you would you play shielded minibot right? Like imagine shielded minibot was a neutral card. Imagine it was three mana, three two. Would you play it? Three mana, three two divine shield. Of course you would play it. What am I talking about? Because there is a Scarlet Crusader. <laughs> they think about it. That's, that was a very stupid, <clears throat> a very stupid uh, thing to say there. <laughs> uh, keeper or no keeper? I think no keeper. Yeah, I think no keeper. None may steal no. Right Hellfire doesn't really suck. And I was thinking of playing like Dr. Boom and actually clearing. Molten Giant, but then I'm a Molten Molten Giant. Why why do I always keep it keep calling it Molten Giant when it's clearly a Mountain Giant? And probably if uh, if there ever was like a society <laughs> of uh, giants, they would be like, there is this guy, and he makes these videos on YouTube, and oh my God, he's so bad because he's always calling us like different names, and <laughs> you know it's just you know. I will go ahead and play that, and I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of um, of anything here. Like before, I used to be afraid of Molten Gen Shadow Flame. Now I'm not really afraid, because let's say he plays a Fire Drop. Let's say it has four attack, uh, and let's say he clears my board with Shadow Flame. He means he, it means he wasted his entire turn on doing that, and uh, if he doesn't have that Wombo combo, then. Um, we win the game, and if he has that Wombo combo, we have a Dr. Boom to just win the game. Obviously, it would kind of suck if he has Reno Jackson, but we will still win the game from then, from that point. <clears throat> okay. No Shadow Flame. But he has that, though. That's good. Do we have Lethal? Um... The answer to that is I don't know. <laughs> Let's say that we put this there, put this there. Uh, no, we definitely don't have lethal. So let's not play Dr. Boom this turn. Let's go ahead and do that. I mean, of course, Reno Jackson will suck, but we're we're putting him to the point where he can't like do much. Of course, Reno is like the worst top deck of all time. 
And if he had Reno all this time in his like first first card in hand, I've got the beast in my side. that's just bad. We're gonna be rich. No? Are you gonna be rich? And two kill bot. That's sad. Oh no, he knows! How does he know? How does he know, guys? Did you tell him? You told him, didn't you? Okay, let's see what the boom bot hits. Okay, at least it killed it. This time. Oh, god damn it. That's fine, though. He just used the BGH. He still has not used the Shadow Flame. He still has not used... He can, like, Lord Jaraxxus. Will Lord Jaraxxus save him? It actually would. Because then he would... Uh, I, I would have 7, 8, 9 damage. So if he has Lord Jaraxxus, that would be so bad. And uh, then I will cry. These taunts! Everybody knows that taunts are cheating, man. What are you doing? Stop cheating. <laughs> taunts and healing are cheating. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, now he has Shadow Flame, right? If he has Shadow Flame now, we just lose. <laughs> if we get, yeah, Shadow Flame would be the worst. But then if he is playing a Reno... He's not playing a Reno deck, I know that, because he's running two anti-kill bots. That's actually pretty good for us, because uh, that's a really bad demon to get out of Benedum. Benedum. And we get Alder Peacekeeper. The battle! Which I will use. Which I'll use. Because at this point he has to sack his 3-3 into here and this into there, and then I have a 3-3. Like, come on, just don't be Lord Jaraxxus time. Just don't be. Okay, good. He dropped like Dark Bomb. That's bad. Oh. We can still top deck something good here. <laughs> okay. I have no words. I'm literally speechless. Because we were winning this game, and this guy had taunts out of his goddamn asshole. He had two heals. I'm just speechless. I have no words, man. And now he's gonna attack that and he top deck Shadow Flame. But we can we can come back. We can. We can top deck BGH. We can top deck BGH and then we can try and win. <clears throat> There's no card in the deck that wins us the game automatically. Why? Are you fucking joking? Are you actually fucking kidding me? Fucking awesome. Your soul shall salve. You can go and fuck yourself, my fucking friend. You can literally go to the bathroom right now and fucking stick a shampoo bottle up your fucking asshole because that's what you deserve. All right, that was um, that was all of the rage for today. <laughs> I was completely that was completely out of line, and I and that guy definitely does not deserve what it said. Uh, but I do feel thoroughly upset because we lost that game. We we really weren't losing the game. That guy just got extremely lucky to win it. We're fighting so many warriors today. I will fight with honor. I'm not, I'm not saying it's a bad thing though, but uh, I mean, given him having good draws, we'll probably lose. <laughs> but then our kind of record against the warrior is uh, is one one at the moment, so maybe maybe it's actually a good matchup, and you know. So far, I am not liking where the RNG is taking me. I like the deck, I like the concept, I like the idea. I like the matchups. The the one thing that I don't like is that um, we have really bad luck in terms of our opponents. Like our opponents have been extremely lucky, 
and that's uh, that's what I don't like at all. He obviously has uh, fire works on turn two. On turn one, I'm s I mean, with a coin, which is great and awesome. Back to, Back work. to work. Yeah, I kind of expected it. That's uh, part of the reason why I decided to keep uh, to play the egg instead of the shield mini bot. <laughs> All right. Well, so far so good. If he does not uh, kill the divine shield, I can kings it, and that will be something that'll probably make us win the game. Uh, yeah, sad. <laughs> it's just. Sadness all around. You know the song, uh, Christmas is all around you? Well, <laughs> this this part is, uh, you know, sadness is all around you, man. And I mean, there's no shame. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes uh, there's just uh, a lot of sadness. And uh, you gotta have, you're gonna have to deal with it. Because if you don't, then you'll fall behind. And that's uh, never good. Of course, he has a shield block, top deck shield slam, um, because um, he's great. He's a great player like that. Now I don't anticipate him running a silence. I don't. I really don't. But if he's running a silence, that's just great, <laughs> isn't it? Just great. Okay, another shield block and fire win X. Oh, actually, Coke Hammer is not. It's, it's actually pretty good, believe it or not. I'll play that. It will help us push for that extra little bit of damage that we need. It's like having a 2 2 minion on the board that will never die for 3 turns, at least. Uh, but, you know, maybe he's gonna be rich? No, I'm not gonna be rich. <clears throat> Do, this is this GG? Yeah, this is GG. Alright, well, this looked scary for a little bit there, because I was like, are we actually gonna do the same thing where we'll be like, 3 damage of lethal and uh, then we'll just lose the game because the guy top decks a shitload of taunts and heals and constantly keeps putting them out. Alright, I feel like we have a, we have time for another game. And uh, before I do that, I want to do one more thing. I do want to reroll my quests. Priest, Priest and Warlock. Uh, that was a bad reroll. But I not I was not planning to play Priest at all. Like, at least in the near future. So, at least, at least that's okay, like, at least we'll get some gold, just instead of me having to do something that I don't want to do, and, uh, I don't know, what do you guys think about that? Like, whenever you work for someone, let's say, uh, or whenever you're in school, maybe you can relate to this, uh, I, I kind of don't like keep his Carly Purifier turn, uh, I mean, going first, but... And we'll, I will try it anyway. Uh, so yeah, if if somebody, if you're working with someone, or if you're in school or something, and if someone goes ahead and tells you uh, what to do constantly, and uh, um, I mean, I'm, and I'm not talking in a good way, like uh, I'm talking in an abusive sergeant kind of way, uh, like whenever someone has, like, let's let's call it rank, right? Let's call it rank. If someone has a rank. Uh, higher than yours it's actually um, and actually abuses that power over you meaning that whenever um, there's like an order that needs to be placed uh, upon you like on your duty that person will kind of abuse his or her power upon you to say something like hey you bitch uh, do this or otherwise I'll kick your ass or something I'll, I'll get you fired or you know I'll put you an F in your report book or something like that and people nowadays think that's okay and I don't understand that that's 
just blackmail. <laughs> That's just blackmail, isn't it? Because you are like, um, you are not. That's not. That's not how things should be. I think. Uh, do I want to play True Silver? Not really, because he then he plays Defender Vargas and then the Imp. Yeah. Actually, no, no, no. Defender Vargas is not going to be that bad. So I should I should kill that and I should kill the Imp as well. So yeah, because I'm afraid of Vargas. And next turn, I can even purify it and then attack it with uh, Scarlet Purifier. So yeah, this kind of... Uh, I've, I've encountered this a few times actually in, uh, in my life where there would be uh, a lot of injustice going on. And that's, that's just never good, isn't it? That's fine. <clears throat> we still get two four fours on the board. Can push for some damages. Um, but I'm not saying that's like that all the time. That's uh, like that only sometimes, and um, not not very often. It it happens from time to time because you obviously cannot control some people. Um, some people like in terms of uh, I'm not saying that it's a good idea to control people, but. Um, yeah. Like, there's always going to be someone above you in terms of, like, rank, but I don't think it's okay to abuse that power. And, like, unless you're God or something. Like, even even if you are a CEO of a major corporation, even, even if you are, like, the top dog, even if your, you know, balance sheet reads, like, millions and billions and trillions, you still you still are dependent upon the other people in your kind of social group so for example like a millionaire um, an owner of a company and like a very big kind of person uh, in terms of like income and stuff like that he will still have like these other these other companies these other people that own other companies that he needs to be friends with that he needs to work with and sometimes one of them is going to be more dominant than the other. I'm not saying that there's like one. There's never. There's never like one company that's like dominant all the time. Why didn't he not attack with those imps? That was a misplay. Yeah, there's there's always going to be like a company that's going to be dominant all the time. And um, it's um, it's just sometimes you will be that person. Sometimes you'll be the person on whom that kind of uh, thing will be executed upon. Speaking about execution, he's been on point with his uh, with his things there. <laughs> That's just insane, man. Like he rolled a three on implosion, where I mean it had three health. Then he rolled another three. He rolled another three guys. <laughs> and I have to poke ha have to poke that just just so that we survive. Well, a good thing that is that we can uh, be Jewish to Malganis or Dr. Boo, <clears throat> so that's good. And I had to take a poke in the knife juggler because if I didn't, then we would probably not be able to kill it next turn, because uh, he can potentially summon so many minions that they just all the juggles hit. Cut. Can I get a consecration? Like, come on, can there be some justice on the world? Just a little bit of justice is all I want, is all I deserve. I mean, I don't deserve a lot of justice. But... no. <laughs> that, I mean, that's not bad. It's not bad, it's not good. It's not, it's not great. It's not bad, though. We are sort of running low on HP because, yeah, if he has double power whelming and doom guard, we lost. Because I'll be 5 plus 9, 14, yeah, I'll be 90 damage. I'll be 4 over lethal. <clears throat> and by the way, don't don't uh, take what I say out of context and 
say like, oh my god, Russian is being abused at work and stuff like that. I'm not. It's just it's just a random thought that popped into my mind, and I don't even remember what uh, what caused it and what the train of thought I was in. But uh, <laughs> it, it was just just a coincidental kind of thought. I think that silence was sort of premature, to be honest. And that play I did not really understand. Like, why you would do that. I will, I will go ahead and do that. I will play that. First wanna kill this, I guess. For Taking a lot of damage. If that 3 2 was a 2 3, it'd be better. <laughs> and I know I'm talking about things that could have been better. And I'm not talking about like things that could have been worse. But things could have been fucking a lot better. And we're losing to fucking a guy who's running Shadow Bolts in the deck. Just because of the lucky implosion. Simply because of the lucky implosions. And simply because we've been so unlucky with our top decks. Like, we just cannot catch a break, man. <laughs> cannot catch a break. And the sponsor of this video is Cannot Catch a Break. Cannot Catch a Break. Go and Cannot Catch a Break. That made absolutely no sense. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, people that generally don't. <laughs> don't succeed in something they don't have they have difficulty speaking anyway guys uh, I hope that you enjoyed this part uh, this was sort of just like a clusterfuck of uh, bad RNG combined together with bad top decks and uh, yeah if um, if you want click the link on the left hand side will take you directly to part 3 where we'll continue the adventures with the Egg Paladin and hopefully the RNG will go my way uh, but if not that's okay as well. Hope you guys enjoyed it, you guys are awesome, stay awesome, you take care now, I'll see you guys tomorrow.